On the surface, the Tiger Temple, three hours west of Bangkok, seems like an oasis. A chance for tourists to get up close and personal with a rare animal. But for more than a decade, the temple has been accused of animal abuse and trafficking in animal parts. Today is part of an ongoing raid to remove all the living tigers from the facility. Wildlife officials made a shocking discovery. 40 dead tiger cubs found in a freezer. They were supposed to be reported to the government when they were born. There have been no reports of new cubs born in at least nine months. So these were being bred secretly. So this tiger has been in captivity for three months. Gary Agnew says that's not the case. I'm in the cage by myself bathing him. The Calgary resident has been helping out at the temple as an advisor for over a decade. He says the cubs were frozen on orders of the temple's former vet. If the temple was hiding, why would they not destroy? Why would they keep them? They thought they were doing the right thing. He says the cubs were being kept for research and to prove they weren't being sold on the black market. He says Thai officials knew they were there. As far as cutting tigers up and shipping them off for parts and that type of thing, I do not believe that's at, at all true. Um, and if it was, um, I would not be involved in, in the organization. But critics say the alleged issues at the temple just scratched the surface of the problem. There's a huge underground market for tiger parts and frozen cubs in Asia, especially China. And Thailand is a central route in the illegal wildlife trade. It's just the beginning, though, because that's 147 tigers altogether. There are 1,000 tigers in Thailand's captive facilities. She says that's in addition to more than 6,000 in captivity in China, where proposed changes to wildlife laws could make it legal to breed them for commercial use. Tigers are almost gone. And this rising demand for tiger products is poaching them into extinction. At the temple, more than a thousand police officers continue to remove the remaining living tigers as investigators try to determine what happened to those 40 cubs. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.